So, you might have guessed, I come from South Africa. And one of our favorite snacks in South Africa is biltong, which is dried beef that has been cured and dried in a specific drying system. Now, today I'm gonna to show you how I've created this little dryer, and then I'm gonna show you how I'm automating it in my smart home with these two little devices. So these little boxes are really easy to make out of some really basic things that you may already have lying around the home. So the first thing is one of these plastic bins. You can pick them up pretty cheaply. Next of all, we need a fan. So I've bought a cheap computer fan. Now it's not a fancy PWM fan where you have to work it out how to control it. This is just a basic 12 volt fan which I've hooked up to a 12 volt adapter. The clever thing here is that I'm controlling it using one of these locally controlled Atom ESP Home smart plugs. And this is how I'm gonna automate this device. So what we've done, we've connected the fan up, we drilled a hole using a round hole saw, and we've bolted the fan in there. Secondly, what we've done is we've created two open spaces to allow the air to come in. Now I've put these two filters on here because I don't wanna draw any dust or insects into my box. I've just taped two filter pieces around two round holes on that. The last thing you need to do is get a dowel stick, about 20 millimeters, drill two holes, and put as many dowels as you would like to hang your meat from. All you do then is you take your meat, just put that down over there, and you hang it. Now what I've used to hang the meat is one of these plastic coated paper clips. The beauty about that is it's protecting the meat from the metal itself so it wouldn't rust. Now the way that I've treated this meat, um, this is a rump steak. What I did, I took it and I uh, lay it or soaked it in brown vinegar for three hours, which is going to stop it from rotting. And second of all, I've then dried it off and I've made a bit of a rub to put on this. So the rub that I've put on the meat is 30% coriander, ground coriander, 30% salt, and 30% black peppercorns crushed. So all I do is I mix that together and I rub that over the meat, leave that to stand for another hour, and then I put it here in this box. Um, I've connected the fan, which is gonna draw the air through here and dry this meat out slowly. Now, the thing about this is you can add a bulb, an incandescent bulb inside you to speed the process up slightly. I haven't worried too much. The feedback I've got is that the slow drying actually gives you a better taste and consistency of the meat at the end of the day. Now, the way that I'm going to control this is I'm going to put my temperature and humidity meter. Um, this is a SwitchBot one, which is locally connected via Bluetooth. So it's connecting via my Bluetooth proxy. I'm gonna put this inside the box. And what that's gonna do is measure the humidity inside the box. Now, as the air is coming through here, moisture is going to be coming off this meat. As it dries out, we're expecting three to four days. Humidity will decrease. And what I will do is I'll set a humidity at which I want to switch the fan off and then automate my biltong all ready for eating. I'll show now, to create our automation, we're going to go along here to settings and we go to automations and scenes, create automation, new automation. Quite simply, we're gonna add a trigger. So we're gonna go to device, and I'm gonna select that meter 107, which is the SwitchBot meter. I'm going to select humidity changes, and I'm going to say when it goes below 75%. Now, the reason I'm taking 75, it's sitting at 85 at the moment. We've got very high humidity here in Auckland, so that's the reason. If you're in a drier humidity, you would select a lower number, basing off your start humidity. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go along and we're going to add an action. So the moment it goes below 75, we're going to go to our device, which is the switch called the Biltong switch. There we go. And that is our smart plug that is connected and we're going to turn it off. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to send myself a notification because I want to know when it's done so that I can take the Biltong out. So I'm going to go to my iPhone over here and I'm going to send myself a message. So Simon's iPhone, send a notification, your Beltong is 
terrible typing ready we go we just change that to a small o and there we go simple as that i've created my automation we'll give it a name built on and we are all done and that's how easy it is to make your own built on and create a home assistant automation that's all for me now if you like my content please remember like and subscribe and i'll see you again soon bye then